week one. You find out a lot about a person, about a team, uh, through challenge and adversity. And this team responded, um, and I, I had no doubt. I had no doubt going into, the, into this game that we were going to have a chance to win just by the way that we handled the last two weeks, the way we practiced, the way that we came together and corrected our mistakes. And people were so selfless, man. You know, people realized that they needed to get better, realized that they were selling themselves short. And when you sell yourself short, you sell the team short. And I'm just so thankful to be part of this football team, man. No, no matter what anybody outside of our locker room says, um, you know, their opinions, whatever the case may be, we, we stuck together. We kept fighting, we kept believing. And that's what it's all about. I just love this football team. The spark was the play when you hit Deuce for that near touchdown that made it 28 to 14. Did that seem to really jumpstart you guys? Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, seeing a big play always uh, gives you some momentum, some some movement, um, some confidence, and that was that was a really big play. I just gave him a hard time, told him to get in the end zone next time. <laughs> Kels. Hey, Skyler. I mean, the the uh, final score and final stat lines look great, but things weren't going, you know, perfectly through the midway through the third quarter. How'd you guys flip the script like that to start just putting up points left and right? Just kept. Kept pounding the stone, just kept believing. Um, focused on one play at a time, never got ahead of ourselves, and had a short-term memory when things didn't go right. And that's what we got to do uh, to win. And we did that today, and just super proud of our football team for having that mindset. How much trust would you say you have in Deuce Vaughn already? I have a lot of trust in him, um, and I have since the day he got here. He's a trustworthy, trustworthy guy. He's worked hard uh, ever since he got here. Um, and even when he wasn't here, uh, you know, Coach Anderson always told me, like, that man was at home watching film when he was in high school uh, and running our offense. So uh, from that day, I, kn I knew he was going to be a good player. And uh, he just really cares about our team. And he practices hard. He, he does everything the right way. And he's very detail-oriented. And so to see him make plays and uh, do the things he's doing right now, it's, it's, it's no surprise and super proud of him. Scott Fridgen. Yeah, he's Skyler. Um, Reds on the win. I think I think one thing that was interesting, you had three rushing touchdowns in the game, and I'm just curious what kind of guts you have to have in a big game like this to have that kind of performance just to kind of carry the load and will your team to win? It's all about the team. It's all about the team. Uh, there wasn't anything going to take me out of this game today. And I, I, I was just, man, I was, I was willing to give it, give it everything I got for this team. You know, and, uh, you know, I was battling through a little injury and, you know, cramping and, but there, you know, there wasn't anything taking me out. And, you know, this, this, this football team just kept, you know, everybody on the sidelines uh, had great spirit, just kept, um, you know, telling me to stick with it, keep trusting the game plan, keep taking one play at a time. We're going to be good. It's going to start clicking. It's going to start clicking. You know, that was everybody's motives, everybody's mindset. Uh, and, uh, you know, our, our dialogue on the sidelines. And uh, that just kept me focused and, and this, this made me realize, like, man, like, we're going we're gonna to do this. You know, I came out of here at halftime, looked out, looked out at Seth Porter for a third quarter start, and I told him, we're going to win this game, Seth. <laughs> and, and he looked back at me and said, I have no doubt. And there was just no doubt in our locker room at halftime that we could win this football game if we came out and just fixed some of the little mistakes that we – had made in the in the first half and um, just corrected some things and we did a great job of doing that. When you had the the win at Oklahoma State, you had the win last year against Oklahoma, and now you have this win. What what is your biggest takeaway? What will you remember most about this win ten years from now? You know, I was I was thinking. Um, I think I appreciated this one more than last year. Um, for different reasons, uh, they both had uh, a lot of, you know, great memories of, of my my life. Um, but, you know, this one this one just meant a lot. Uh, we we came off of an upset loss at home. Um, there was a lot of naysayers out of our outside of our locker room that um, that you know just said a lot of things that <clears throat> you know kind of raised my eyebrows a little bit. Um, and there was a just, there was a lot of stuff going on. And we could have easily gave up and came out and just laid an egg today, but we didn't. And we were down three touchdowns. Um, we were had penalties. We 
we made mistakes, but the team just kept grinding, just kept believing, man. Just kept believing. Uh, and it just, it, it was so special to be a part of. And, um, and I'll, I'll remember it for the rest of my life. And I'm very, very blessed to, you know, be in a position to, to win games like this. Cause this is, this is when I was five years old, um, just like what I told everybody in the locker room, you know, they're in the same boat. I know when we were all five years old, four years old, knew what a football was. This is what you dream. This is what you dream. This is the stage that you dream about. And um, that's the way that I look at it. And I'm just very thankful for the opportunity and just trying to cherish as much as possible. Cause I know I mean, time, time flies. So. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Scott. We got uh, three hands lay, uh, raised. We'll do those. Uh, whoever's representing KSN, go ahead. Hey, Skyler. Uh, quick question. So, in the halftime, what was your perspective walking out of going into the second half, and how would you describe the urgency that you felt from your team for you guys to uh, go ahead and win the game? Yeah, we we, we you know came in there, Coach Kleiman said some words and just said that, hey, it, it, keep trusting the process, keep trusting the game plan. We got to fix some things, um, but we're gonna get this fixed and we're going to go win this football game. And everybody in the whole locker room, you could tell believed in him, believed in him, you know, and believed in one another. And, um, you know, it's, it's really any words that, that I can say to describe it. It's just like you had to be there to feel it. Truly, like I just could feel that that belief and trust in one another that we were going to go out and get the job done. Go ahead, Mitchell. Skyler, now back to back years that y'all have taken down a highly ranked OU team. What is it about, and both times have been in dramatic fashion, what is it about K State and OU where the game is always really spectacular? Man, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it's like that, but. Um, I'm thankful that we've been on the on the winning side of it the past few years, um, you know. And uh, I was I was part of that loss when uh, two years ago at home when we got beat by a lot of points. Um, and I remember walking off the field that day. It, it was the worst loss I ever had in my life. I've never been beat like that ever. Um, and that was on my mind a lot this week. Um, and yeah, you know, it's just it's just one game at a time, and it's about K State. You know, it's not about, you know, whoever we're playing, whatever their name on their jersey says, whatever. We're, we're playing K-State football. That's all we're focused on. Um, and, you know, we do that, play for one another, play selfless football. Um, we're going to be successful. And the, the social team uh, at K-State just put out the video of you all celebrating in the locker room. What's that scene like when you guys are with all the guys together jumping, water bottles are flying, everyone's having a good time? What's, what's that scene like? A lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Um, like I said, just memories that I'll remember for the rest of my life. I mean, you can't can't simulate it. You can't describe it. Um, it's just it's just a lot of it, the the best word for it for me is just joy. Just pure joy in our hearts, as far as seeing our hard work and sacrifice pay off. And it's just it's a feeling that I can't describe. And I'm just super thankful to be a part of it. Last one here, Adam Rittenberg. Yeah, Skyler, I mean, I, along those lines, you, you've won a lot of big games. Uh, how, how, do, how do those kind of function as reference points at all in a game like this when you have to come back on the road against a team like OU? Um, you know, I, I honestly just never looked at the scoreboard. Um, I, I didn't pay attention to the scoreboard. I just kept focusing on, on my assignment. Um, and what I have to do every single play to execute to help this team win the football game, and that 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 mindset just helped me, helped me so much, um, and just kept me just never. I just never stopped believing in our football team, and uh, it, it, it just. <clears throat> I feel like my entire life, um, I live for the big games. I live for the big moments. Um, because I just know there, there are opportunities to, for myself, for guys on this team to, to prove uh, what we're capable of doing. And, and that was my message to the guys in the locker room this morning. Uh, 
was, man, just a lot of the guys in this locker room have been overlooked, have been unappreciated, um, have been slept on and, and not given a chance. And we, we get an opportunity to go play the number three team in the country on the road, 28 point underdogs today. Nobody in the world has given us a chance to win. And what, what, what better position could you ask for right now? And, and I think, you know, when I was saying that, looking around, you could just see the, you could see the, you could see it in everybody's eyes that they believed. And that, that was just, um, it was, it was, it's, it's special, it's special. I don't know how else to put it.